the snow around the island has finally melted. But did you know about all the hidden secrets Fortnite also added in this update? But first, quickly drop a like on the video, otherwise this will happen to you. And remember to pop in code MMCS in the Fortnite item shop for 10 years good luck. Right now on the island, after the recent update, is a brand new NPC that we've never seen before. And he has secret dialogue with Valeria, the leader of the society that actually tells us a secret about next season. Yeah, you've got to see this. So, Silas Hest was actually last month's crew subscription skin and is now an NPC on the island. His description says that he's the last elite still defying the society's reign and he's willing to secretly assist the underground and their effort. So, if we approach Silas Hest as Valeria, who by the sounds of it he absolutely hates, he has something very important to say to her. Right, here he is. This has actually taken me ages to find him as an NPC. PC because he's brand new in game and no one knows where he was but it turns out he's actually here over at Ruined Reels which is very fitting actually for what he's about to share to us about next season. We're wearing the Valeria skin, let's see what secret dialogue he has to say to her. I know you're hunting for ancient secrets but what might they be? Well I mean straight away it looks like that snake around his neck is just straight up possessing him. Although if we speak to him again he says that his pet is definitely not possessing his body. Which actually means, yeah, I think this snake is possessing his body. So what are these ancient secrets he mentions that he knows Valeria is trying to find out about? Well, if we head on over to Valeria's compound, located at Reckless Railways, we can actually find out because there's a secret inside that not many people know about and it's all thanks to Silas for letting us know about it. Okay, first we've got to get inside without dying, which is going to be pretty hard. Oh, wait. I can use this EMP stealth camo. This is going to work awesome. Okay, let's go up to Valeria's compound. Let's put on this cloaking device. Okay, this is sick. Right, let's sneak inside this compound and just find this secret. Uh, okay, it's just run out. This is not good. Ah! Quick, get upstairs, get upstairs. Okay, here we are. Her special room that supposedly got the secret in. Okay, here it is. This book and more importantly, the secret she's after. A box? But where is this box? Well, we'll actually find out in a minute. As you can see, she's after this special mythical box, which is actually Pandora's box and is the reason why she's stolen Peely this season. She's done this so Jones comes looking for him while she keeps him held hostage and Jones will have to reveal all the secrets to Valeria in order to get Peely back. One of the secrets being about the location of this Pandora's box. Now, Pandora's box in Greek mythology was a gift given from the gods to Pandora, containing all evils in this world. And this is where things start to get interesting. Not only was Silas located at the Greek ruins on the island, but also added into the files of the game in the last update were earthquakes. Now, what could these be for? Well, supposedly, as Valeria grows closer and closer to finding Pandora's box, the land will start to shake. And I feel like when she finally opens it up, season two will arrive with all the Greek gods helping us fight against all the evils Valeria has released from this box. So, where is this Pandora's box right now? Well, you may have noticed, well, I hope you would have noticed by now, but the snow has started to melt all around the island. Right now, it's completely melted around over near Lavish Lair, Rebel Roost, and Hazy Hillside. Week by week, it's melting more and more, getting closer and closer to this frozen glacier situated between this huge mountain and the Grand Glacier Hotel. So, what is a glacier, you're probably asking? Well, it's a large, thick mass of ice that forms when fallen snow compresses into ice over many years, trapping things beneath it for thousands of years. Right now, it doesn't look like much, but before the end of the season, more and more of this area will begin to melt, revealing whatever has been hidden underneath, or even crack due to these earthquakes. I mean, for some reason, since this last update, the fallen plane that was at the top of the glacier looks like it's now slidden down. Why has it changed location completely on the glacier? And how do we know something is underneath? Maybe even 
open this Pandora's box? Well, the Ageless Explorer has arrived at the island too, and he's searching the island's icy secrets as he believes something is under there too. How do we know this? Well, it's because of his set that came to the game in the item shop the other week. All of his items in his set talk about commanding the ice and its secrets. Remember, the Ageless is a snapshot of a young Geno, and he's probably trying to find this Pandora's box that Valeria is after too. If glaciers are formed over thousands of years ago, then this Greek mythological theme for season two and Pandora's box could be trapped down beneath. And with so much going on running up to the end of the season, believe it or not, after yesterday's update, even more evidence on Midas' return was added in that almost 100% confirms he's coming back for next season. Check this out. So, so far this season, we've seen a ton of evidence to do with Midas' return. First, it was the folder of his in the cutscene trailer at the beginning of the season, seen here on the floor of the Underground's headquarters. I mean, these folders were last seen in the Imagine Orders headquarters back in chapter 2 season 2 and now for some reason they're here. We then jumped in game to find his old yacht. I mean look it's still called Marigold which was the name of Midas' wife. It looks like the society have just taken it. It was then a couple of weeks later we then spotted a computer on the upper deck that had the login details already filled out with the password lengths being the same length of both Marigold and Midas' name. Interesting. Then down in the control room of this yacht we then found Meow's Bobblehead. He was Midas' pet cat and right hand man back in the day. But this really wasn't enough evidence to suggest Midas was coming back. That was all up until a few weeks later as more and more people explored the island. We then found this chair in this creepy house that used to be used in Midas' doomsday room. We then realised the doors inside the Grand Glacier Hotel. Well it turns out they were the same golden doors used in Midas' agent's office that we saw in the chapter 2 season 2 trailer. And even more recently, little cabins found on the outskirts of the island. It turns out each one of these belongs to a member of his team. Meow Schools, Tiantina, Sky, and himself. So what more evidence is there surely to suggest he's coming back now? Well, in yesterday's update, Fortnite added more teasers. For a while now, we've known about the new Floor is Lava game mode that will be added in game soon. That is actually presented by Midas himself. But in yesterday's update, Fortnite went and added in Tiantina's explosive bow and Jules' drum gun into the files of the game that are set to be released at a later point. Now, Tiantina's oil rig from Chapter 2 Season 2 can actually be found on the outskirts of the island, and inside, you can find her helmet and everything else to do with her, pretty much. So, her explosive bow is coming back, which makes sense if she's coming back, but why Jules' drum gun? Jules is actually the daughter of Maya. But believe it or not, in the files of the game, Midas' drum gun is actually called Jules' drum gun. We actually know this because back in Chapter 4, Season 4, you could actually get Midas' drum gun out of Kato Thorn's vault. And if you used it, its name was actually Jules' drum gun. This almost confirms now that Midas is coming back with his agents in Season 2 now. Let me know what you think.